Hi, so I thought I'd make a quick video on uh, how to convert the multi excerpt from using the Confluence server version to cloud or vice versa. So what is the issue here? Let me, I just thought a video would probably be a little bit more efficient in some cases. Um, I'm finishing up the documentation right now. But basically the cloud version uses multi excerpt dash macro and by default the confluence server version uses just multi excerpt without the dash macro so this was a mistake we made when uh you know originally writing the cloud version um we didn't really think about people moving back and forth between the two um because at the time nobody was using cloud uh so how do we do this um so the first thing we're going to look at is just some uh, example content. So this is just a standard server version of Confluence multi excerpts. And if we go ahead and view the storage format, which is over here, which I already have a tab for, uh, you can see here the AC name is multi excerpt and multi excerpt include. And in the cloud version, that'll be dash macro and dash macro. So first let's talk about going from cloud to server. Uh, so what you would do is you'd move your content from cloud to server. And then if you go over here to, you know, manage add-ons right here, uh, you'll get a list of the add-ons. And then you want to expand these modules. And for moving from cloud to server, what we'd want to do is go ahead and to disable these two. Click over here, disable. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then you wanna enable, um, you wanna enable these, whoops, these two that have the matching multi excerpt macro and multi excerpt include macro. So that should work. Uh, so then your content from cloud will just begin working. Now, if you're moving from cloud to, I'm sorry, if you're moving from server to cloud, then what you need to do is really do a search and replace on all the content. Now you should always do a backup before this and you should run through this process, uh, you know, on a test server before before production, but there is the search and replace add-on, uh, which I am about to test. <laughs> Assuming it works, then this is this looks like the right thing. So I'll add documentation to the page on how to use this. Um, but mainly I wanted to go ahead and show this because it would be a little confusing to possibly document. So that's it for the video. Hopefully this has uh, shed a little more light. The documentation will have all the same information, but uh, sometimes it's just a little easier to see things in action. Thanks for listening.